At Jabra, we work closely with a lot of Alliance partners to make sure that we can deliver a superior experience no matter which UC platform your organization uses. As remote and flexible working are quickly becoming the new normal, enabling teams with professional audio and video is becoming important for business continuity. We spoke to Zoom's head of Zoom Rooms, Jeff Smith, to find out more about the Zoom certification process and what this means for IT teams. So on one level of, of certification, it really is just about the uh, validating the audio video performance of a particular piece of hardware in a Zoom context. That's a, it's a very baseline uh, type, of, type of certification. What we've done with, our, uh, with the Zoom Rooms appliances is look at the life cycle of hardware in the procurement, installation, management, uh, and, uh, and, and software interaction uh, of, of hardware relative to an IT, uh, an IT team. And said, so this is a, a level of certification where we're want, we want to certify an experience, an experience for the IT, IT buyer that is looking at uh, what equipment is going to be the most efficient from a cost of ownership perspective, uh, from a time management perspective, from a, 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 a reduction in, in headaches and complication perspective. And we took that as a, really as trying to certify an experience. And it wasn't a meeting experience or an end user experience, but certifying an IT experience. And what they're consistently looking for is uh, Ease of use, high performance, consistency, reliability, and uh, and how do we communicate all of that relative to a whole experience, and not uh, saying that, well, you know, this spec or that spec is uh, is is what's differentiating, but this whole experience is what you can depend on if I have this uh, you know, very simple way to communicate it. So it really is just about trying to uh, create a, an environment where we can say that this experience is, uh, is delivering what you want and be able to communicate it in a way that, 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 that cuts through all the noise in the industry. Fascinating to see how Zoom view things from a perspective of experiences. And so in closing, we wanted to find out from Jeff how hardware and software functionality can benefit IT teams and organizations with valuable collaboration data. And so what, um, what I look at when we are determining what data to capture, aggregate, display uh, for an IT team, we start with what problem are we trying to solve? What type of questions do we want to answer? And then we go into what data do we need to collect, uh, aggregate, and display in order to answer those questions. So we really start with the use case. And uh, right now, the focus is on uh, space utilization. Uh, how is this space being used? Is it different than it was a month ago? Are, the, uh, are my employees... Uh, following the guidelines that we've communicated? Are they not? Why not? Uh, do they have adequate space and equipment to do the, the jobs that we're asking them to do? And evaluating the return on investment that companies make in equipment. In order to answer those questions, there's a set of data that, that, you know, that, uh, that can be exposed that Zoom collects uh, to give them uh, all kinds of answers to those questions. Uh, you know, in addition, being able to uh, communicate those, uh, those new policies and ever-changing policies effectively through our digital signage products or through, uh, through the conference room products as well. So um, that two-way communication where I'm not just pushing out a policy, but I'm also getting data on how that policy is being implemented uh, by my by my employees is, uh, is is absolutely critical. So we look at it as this end to end uh, experience that includes uh, evaluation and metrics 
in order to, uh, to iterate. A big thanks to Jeff Smith from Zoom for the time and insights talking about how Zoom validate devices and experiences, the ease of use, reliability, and experience of collaboration technology, and how IT teams are using meeting data to increase efficiency. Mm-hmm.